हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू कोबराज एकेडमी दिस इज डॉक्टर के एस दीपक प्रेजेंटिंग माई न्यू प्रेजेंटेशन इवेल्यूशन ऑफ वेट वेरिएशन ऑफ टैबलेट टैबलेट्स विच आर मोस्ट कॉमन डोसेज फॉर्म्स टू बी प्रिस्क्राइब आर प्रिपेयर और फॉर्मुलेटेड ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ वेट ऑफ ड्रग पर टैबलेट इन द If the tablet weight is as per predetermined weight limits it is considered that tablet would contain prescribed amount of drug weight variation test is carried out to ensure that each of the tablet contains the proper amount of drug in formulation practices tablets formula are calculated based on the drug content per each tablet so if a tablet weight is itself indication of how much drug it will contain as per the label claim given on the tablet formula tablet weight is mainly affected by factor such as faulty tooling of the compression machine head pressure machine speed and flow properties of the tablet inconsistent powder or granulate density and particle size distribution are also common sources of weight variation during tablet compression variation between tablet with respect to dose and weight must be reduced to a minimum uniformity of weight is a test parameter which ensures consistency of dosage unit during compression so if the tablet weight is uniform it itself indicates that the drug contained in that particular tablet is also uniform the test procedure for evaluating tablet weight variation there are general two procedures one is composite sample method and another is individual weighing of 20 tablets or individual weight method in first composite sample method a composite weight of 10 tablets is determined these are weight throughout the compression process at some predetermined time interval this is generally followed by industrial manufacturing process where the tablet doses form or tab particular tablet is already well established and it is continuously being produced by the industry the composite weight is divided by 10 it gives an average weight this method contains the usual problem of average values like standard deviation and inconsistency so in composite method 10 tablets surveyed and average is taken and based on that average whether the tablet batch passes the weight variation test or not is determined in individual weighing of 20 tablets method or individual weight method this is generally a usp weight variation method it is run by weighing 20 tablets individually calculating the average weight and comparing the individual tablet weights with the average so 20 tablets are taken they are weighed individually and their average is taken and then this individual weight and average weight is compared the percentage of weight variation is calculated by using the following formula percent weight variation is equal to individual weight minus average weight divided by average weight and multiplied by 100 so each individual weight is used and minus or average weight is subtracted from the individual weight and it is again divided by average weight and multiplied by 100 to get the percent weight variation based on the tablet weight and deviation usp and ip follows different criteria according to the usp the acceptance criteria for weight variation is as follows for tablets weighing 130 mg or less acceptable limits of deviation are plus minus 10% for tablets weighing 130 mg to 324 mg the acceptable weight limit is 7.5% and a tablet which is weighing more than 324 mg the acceptable limits of weight variation is plus minus 5% this is as per usp in case of ip the tablet weight deviation of plus minus 10% is accepted for the tablet which have 
weight of ATMG or less. Those tablet which have ATMG to 250 mg, the deviation accepted is plus minus 7.5%. And if the tablet weight is more than 250 mg, plus minus 5% deviation is accepted as per the IP or BP. The tablet pass the test if no more than two tablets out of 20 tablets are outside the percentage limit and if no tablet differs by more than two times of the accepted percentage limit. So to be acceptable or to tablet to pass the weight variation test out of 20 tablets 18 tablets must have pass percentage limit as per their weight and other two tablets should not deviate more than twice the accepted limits. We will explain this or we will understand this with the help of one example. For a tablet with labeled weight of 100 mg, the acceptable limit of weight is plus minus 10 percent that is the tablet must have weight in between 90 mg to 110 mg. This is as per the USP. All these examples we are discussing are as per the USP. For a tablet with labeled weight of 300 mg, the acceptable limit of weight is plus minus 7.5 percent. That is, the tablet must have weight in between 277.5 mg to 322.5 mg, mg. For a tablet with a labeled weight of 500 mg, the acceptable limit of weight is plus minus 5 percent as per the USP. That is, the tablet must have weight in between 475 mg to 525 mg. Next is content uniformity test. The content uniformity test is also very very important and its confirmed quality of the tablet. Generally, in general cases, weight variation test is considered sufficient to indicate unit to unit and lot to lot uniformity of drug content or uniform drug content. But in following conditions on performing of content uniformity test is compulsory or must. If the tablets containing drug substance less than 25 mg or less than 25% of total tablet weight, uniformity of drug substance is demonstrated by meeting content uniformity requirement. So content uniformity test is carried out when the drug content in the tablet is less than 25 mg or it the tablet doses contains less than 25% of drug of the total tablet weight. The content uniformity test is carried out by randomly selecting 30 tablets. 10 of these tablets are assayed individually. The tablet pass the content uniformity test if 9 of the 10 tablets contain not less than 85% and not more than 115% of the labeled drug content. And the 10 tablet contains not less than 75% and not more than 125% of the labeled content of the tablet. If more than one tablets are outside the range of 85% to 115% of label claim that is plus minus 15% but not outside the range of 75% to 125% of label claim that is plus minus 25 percent 20 additional tablets should be tested the requirements are made if not more than t tablets out of 30 are outside the range of 85 percent to 115 percent that is plus minus 15 percent of label claim and no unit is outside the range of 75 percent to 125 percent of label claim so out of 30 tablets, 27 tablets must be in between 85 to 115 and other 3 tablets should also not be outside the range of 75 to 125 to pass the test. This also will be understood with the, try to understand with the help of one example. For a tablet with labeled amount of drug of 20 mg, if 9 of the 
10 tablets contains not less than 70 mg and not more than 23 mg plus minus 15 percent of drug content and the 10th tablet contains not less than 15 mg and not more than 25 mg that is plus minus 25 percent of the labeled content the tablet passes content uniformity test if this is failed then additional 20 tablet has to be analyzed and out of 30 tablets 27 tablets pass the test range from 17 mg to 23 mg and other three tablets are in between 15 mg and 25 mg to pass the test we will the further discuss the importance and reasons for weight variation test if the test variations in tablets if the weight variation in the tablets are too high or too low the level of drug in each tablet might be too high or too low and the tablet won't meet the requirements of specifications it is therefore prerequisite that the powder that is to be compressed must be dosed quickly and consistently in the dyes from the hopper for this reason very good flow characteristics of tablet blend are extremely important the tableting is often preceded by granulating process in order to give feed material better flow characteristics than the physical mixture has. Thus, if the weight variation is very high or very low, it indicates that the drug content in the tablet will be very high or very low and it will either show toxic effects or subtherapeutic effects. Therefore, the flow of blend from hopper to tableting stations must be uniform and very constant and quick. To facilitate this, generally granulation processes takes carried out to reduce the weight variation test before compression. If the particle size distribution of the powder is broad, it, the separation segregation of the components of the powder might occur because of vibration in the feed container. To avoid segregation of particles, the bigger particles are dosed first into the hopper because they slip downward and the smaller particles are put afterward. So the adequate mixing will take place and there are less chances of weight variation. Mechanical decoupling of the press from the feed container might be helpful. This means the hopper has to be separated from the compression machine to avoid the vibrations due to compression process. Generally, the biggest particle should not exceed 20% of the diameter of the die. The upstream granulation should reduce no bigger particles. If necessary, a further grinding and sieving process must be carried out. If the size distribution is not proper and there is large number of fines or large number of uh, large number of or higher percentage of larger particles or bigger particles, the sieving and grinding process must be carried out. Again, if needed, the granulation should also be carried out in case of very fine particles to reduce the weight variation test. If you like the video contents, please subscribe to my channel Cobras Academy. Thank you.